I got down to the water about 6.30 this morning, just chasing a feed of herring. In this video, I'm just going to run through two techniques to catch the herring. One with a full intact plastic, and one even just with a piece of the plastic left that's been ravaged by blowies or by a chopper tailor. If I'm going for herring, I usually take some form fairly. A lot of times I'll just mix up some old bread with some fish oil and maybe a bit of tuna. Today I'm just using the store bought one. My go to plastic for herrings is Z-Man Slim Swim. I usually use um, motor oil or bloodworm. It doesn't matter too much, I just tend to have a lot of bloodworm from my brim fishing. I'm using a 112 ounce jig head. If I'm fishing off a jetty where you're up a bit higher, then I'd probably go to a 1.8 or 1.6. Otherwise, anything from 1.16 to 1.8 is usually pretty good. Size 1 or 2 hook is fine. Even 1.0 is fine. Just using the bring gear. 1 to 3 kilo, 2,500 reel, 4 pound line. I think I've got about 6 pound leader on. I always add a bit of S factor. It really works well for the herring. The only issue is the blowies, particularly all the blowies that sit close to the rocks. If you let your plastic float around near the rocks too long, or even when you're using a lot of belly, you're going to lose some lures. I'll look to cast out further from where I threw out the belly, and then slowly bring it towards it. When I've got the full intact plastic, I'll let it sink for a little bit, and just give it small little hops from the wrist, and wind in nice and slow. Set a soft drag, just enough that you can pull it past the rocks when it gets close. If you're throwing out the belly, look for the silver flashes that smash the rope, and then cast towards that direction. If you've got polarised honeys on, then you can see them pretty easily. With herring, you really got to capitalise when they're on the bite, and often you get blowies that will nip off the end of your plastic, but you can still use them. Once you lose the tail of the plastic, you got to use it more like a flick bait. Reel it in a little bit faster, lower your rod down, and give it quick little jabs. You can see how much of this plastic has actually been taken, but they'll still hit it. You just have to give it the right technique. A new plastic is definitely more effective, but you can still catch fish this way, and sometimes you can't just lose plastic after plastic. <laughs> 